good evening everyone so hope all are doing great yeah good evening so please inform to your friends as well to join the session okay java class or not ma'am sooner or later this is a logical reasoning class this is not a java class okay please inform to your friends also to join so within 2 to 3 minutes we'll start the class okay so all uh, going good like uh, your lms assignments quizzes all going good right or else any questions Ma'am, today assessment on which topic? Today I'm not uh, conducting any quiz. Be free for today. Tomorrow I'm conducting quiz. Okay. Ma'am, I'm not registered to LMS. Okay, I will share the registration link. Yeah, over to you, Elumala. You can take up the class. Thank you, Chandra. Good evening, everyone. Hope the screen is visible to you. Good. In this session, we are going to discuss syllogism. Right. Actually, this is one of the topic under decision making, right? Actually, the students are joining now. The basic thing is first few slides, there are just four slides, right? After that, you can solve any questions following this. We will wait for some time. Okay. Decision making. If you take this topic, then I can tell you, Syllogism is one of the topic. Data sufficiency is another topic. Statements and conclusions, statements and inference, statements and assumption. These are one topic. Then scenario based questions. Right. So these are the topics we have in under decision making. Now, syllogism is one of the important topic in decision making. Right. Okay. Here, syllogism. They will give you some statements followed by some conclusions, right? Listen, here you should not ask, ask any, assume anything. You should not analyze anything. Like, for example, in case if I say some pens are pencils, how can a pen be pencil? Right. You should not assume anything like this, analyze anything like this based on the given statement, right? You should, uh, you should think the given statement is exactly correct based on this information, which conclusions following the statement. That is what you need to analyze and answer this. I hope you understand this. Okay. Now, Actually, there are two ways to solve the questions in syllogism. One is statements combining, right? So by combining different statements at a time, you need to remember many things. So 
the here is a method but we will not use this while solving problems right for example all a or b if it is affirmative the negative sentence will be no a or b right so since we are not going to deal with this method i am going to give you the venn diagram right all a or b it's very simple question all a or b right for this statement how will you draw the diagram here all a region this region is there right yes so all a must be within b that's it so here all a or b hope you understand this yes so here another one in case if a and b overlap each other here also a all a or b isn't it yes so here is one of the possibility that all a can overlap with b now we can say all a or b right now which one will you choose for the statement all a or b either the first one or the second one which is correct for this statement very good can you tell me why not the second one is not drawn for this statement all a or b so here where a is giving you the answer b is also giving you the answer but you are ready to draw the first one not the second one for the statement good very good see as i told you based on the given information only you need to choose this isn't it here all a or b right which means that all a or b yes but it is it is also giving you all a or b but the problem here is this also implies all b or a right that is not given in our statement hope you understand this so here all b or a is not given in the statement so you should not draw this diagram i hope you understand this right this is one of the possible diagram yes so here this is one of the possible diagram right now i will give you the next statement some a or b right some a or b here how will you draw this so here there is a region common to a and b isn't it so here i have shaded in green right so this region is common to a and b which means that some a or b is true here right in case if a and b are overlapping each other there also some region common to a and b right mm, what's in this yes okay. it's on the now for this statement which one will you draw you will draw for this statement first one right very good so in case if it is the only given statement then you need to first draw the first one not the second one this is possibility diagram right this name is possibility diagram right so here if you have the question then you should not draw this one directly in case if the question is a case that is possibly possibility then you can draw this right okay now next one some a or not b right here which one you will draw will you draw some a or not b here also the first one right yes so here there are some region in a which is not common to b isn't it yes 
So some A are not B here. Right. In case, if you draw like this, which means that no A or B, here the meaning is no A or B. If no A or B, then it is also giving you some A or not B, right? Yes. But here the important thing is, which also implies no A or B. So some A or not B is completely different from no A or B, right? So you should draw only this diagram for the statement. This is the possibility diagram, right? So this is the possibility diagram, but not the exact correct diagram for the statement. I hope you can understand this. Now, no A or B, right? In case if it is the statement no A or B, then A and B should not have any connections like this, right? So here, if in case if anything is like this, right? For example, C is uh, having common region, right? In this case, you can have different things, right? So here also no A or B is correct, but it is not exactly correct, right? But here it is correct. So in case if you see a statement like no A or B, then you should draw the first one, not the second one. Hope you understand this. If you understand this, then we can go to problems, right? In case if you have doubts in any of the diagram, then you can tell me, I will repeat once again. I hope you do not have any doubts. Good. Now, we will go to problems. Good. Yes. Here is the question. Can try to solve this. All ducks are pigeons. All pigeons are crows. Right. Now, the conclusions. Some conclude some crows are ducks, some crows are pigeons. Right. Then, which of the statements are following the conclusions? Right. Which of the conclusions are following the statement? That is what you need to find. So, how will you do? How will you do this? All ducks are pigeons. Right. So, you will draw. One within another. Right. I just show you the answer for this question. Right. Okay. See? Here duck. Right. So all ducks are PGNs. You would have drawn this one. Isn't it? Yes, very good. One of you have found the correct answer. Now next one is all PGNs are crews. Right. Now all PGNs are Crows. Yes. So I have drawn like this. Right. Listen. In case if some statement is there. Right. And some only some statements are there with the two identities. And if you have the if you have the diagram like one within another, one circle within another circle, one circle within another circle. Right. Then some statements will be true for all the relations, all the entity to any entity to any other entity, right? You can see here. So here, there are some region come to down, sorry. There are some region common to ducks and pigeons. There are some regions common to pigeons and crows, isn't it? So some region, some relation is true for all this, right? In case if you have a diagram like one within another, 
one with another like this. Right. Circle with another circle. Right. Then some statements will be true for any entity to any other entity. I hope you can understand this. So if you have practiced this very much, then you can answer the question in seconds. Right. Yes. Try to solve this. All cats are dogs. All dogs are brown. Okay, the first conclusion is all cats are brown. All brown are dogs. Right. Okay. 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 Good. So, some of you have answered it correctly. Right. Okay. See, either or, I give you the statement for in another, another scenario. Right. See, where you need to, okay, I just explain where to use this conclusions. Right. See, if the conclusion one follows and conclusion two not follow, then you need to go for the option A. Right. In case, if conclusion two follows, whereas conclusion one not follows, then you should go for option B. Right. Then both the conclusions are correct following the statement. Then option E is the correct answer. Right. In case, if both the correct conclusions are not following the statement, then option D is the correct answer. Right. Now, when will you say either one or two is the uh, following the statement? Right. This is very important statement here. Right. Actually, students will make mistakes here. Right. See here. Individually, if you look at conclusion one and conclusion two, then nothing will be exactly correct. For example, one is some A or B, right? So here, they would have given you some A or B, right? The second one is no A or B, right? The second one is no A or B. B. So here, if you have this statement, right? So in case if the state, uh, if the conclusions are given like this, right? First conclusion is some A or B. Second conclusion is no A or B, right? Listen, in this case, you could not tell anything definitely. For example, is it some A or B? No, I don't know exactly. Is it some no A or B? No, I don't know exactly. But here, I do not know exactly. Here also, I do not know definitely, isn't it? But if you look at this, they are complement to each other, right? Some A or B, which means that there are some common regions between A and B, right? No A or B, which means that there are no common region between A or B, right? So at that situation, either this is correct, or this must be correct. Am I correct or not? The, these two statements are exactly complement to each other. Yes or no? Hope you understand where to use this either or statements. You can note on the situations. You will have this in the upcoming flights. Good. Now, Yes. See, all cats are dogs. So all cats are dogs. We have drawn like this. Right. Then all dogs are brown. So all dogs are brown. We have drawn like this. See, 
in case if you are trying in the exams you just draw only this diagram this diagram is not necessary to design right this is the second diagram is for only possibility conditions it is not necessary for the exam in the exam to answer the question right okay now the first conclusion is all cats are browns right so all cats are browns yes all cats are within brown then the first one is exactly correct right so the first one is correct now when you check, check the second one all brown or dogs listen all dogs are within brown but all brown are not within the dogs as per the given statement right so this is not correct so only one follows that is the correct option hope you understand this good right i will show you the next question you will try to solve just a minute Right. So here, all pins are long. Second statement is all pins are long. Right. All pins are long. Second one is all pencils are long. Right. Okay. Now the conclusions are just a minute. Let's get in here. I just changed. Okay. Yes. Now, all pens are pencils. The second conclusion is some pens are pencils. Right. Now, answer this question. One of you have answered. Good. Okay, good. Good. So many of you are answering correctly. Right. All pins are long. How will you draw this? You can see here. All pins are long. Then all pencils are also long. So here within this long, I will have two entities like pen and the pencil like this. Right. This is PN is nothing but pen. Pencil is represented as PL. Right. Okay. Now, if you come to this conclusions, all pens are pencils. So here I may not be, I am not knowing definitely that all pens are within this pencil or not. So the first one is not definitely correct. When you come to the second statement, some pens are pencils. So that is also not obtained in this direction, in this given statements, definitely. Right. So first one is wrong here. Second one is also wrong. Right. So, what conclusion? Is it? So, which of the answer is correct? Neither one nor two follows the conclusion. Yes, that's your answer. Yes. So, in the diagram, a pencil and pen pencil be in a different way. Right. Because they haven't given that any relation between pen and pencil. Right. All pens are long, all pencils are long. That's it. Hope you understand this.
we can post yes or no so that we can go to next question yes very good now another question the statements i have given you three statements followed by four conclusions right now try to do this all files are folders or folders are boxes all boxes are drawers these are the given statements good then all folders are drawers all boxes are files all files are drawers all drawers are folders so for by i have given you four conclusions you need to verify which conclusions following the statement that's it good okay let's verify your answer by drawing the possibility diagram also right okay i explain this see all files are folders so all files are folders all folders are boxes all boxes are drawers so you will draw one circle within another another circle within another right so circle we within another circle right you will draw like this now you can here all these are folders all folders are boxes all boxes are drawers so i have drawn this one right now we check the conclusion all folders are drawers yes all the folders are within drawer yes so this statement is true so first one is correct right if you check the second one to solve files right so all boxes are files no the all files are boxes is correct but we cannot definitely say all boxes are files so the second one is not correct then the third one all files are drawers right all files are drawers so here the third one is also following this condition contours then the fourth one all folders so all folders are drawer is correct but all drawers are folder is not correct isn't it yes so only the conclusions 1 and 3 follow that is the correct answer many of you have answered it correctly good now i show you the next question all cities are towns some cities are villages conclusions all villages are towns no village is a town some villages are towns okay okay from next class i change the font also right now it is not possible i think hope it is visible to you from next class onwards i will change the font right good
¿Qué? Many of you have answered it. Let's verify your answer. Good. Okay, right. I get different answers from everyone. Good, right. Okay, now I will explain this. See, all cities are towns. So within city, we will have town, isn't it? Sorry, all cities are towns. So within C, we will within T, we will have C, isn't it? Yes. Then. Very good. Many of you are answering correctly. Yeah. Some cities are villages. So you would have drawn like this. All cities are towns. So all cities are towns. Like you would have drawn like this. Then some cities are villages. Yes. Some cities are villages. Right. Yes. Now if you come, back, come to these conclusions, the first conclusion, all villages are towns. Right. All villages are towns. Here, it is, is it correct? No. Listen out of you. In case if you have questions like some cities or villages, don't try to stop within the circle. Right. If you stop within the circle, then it means that all villages are towns also. Isn't it? So, this one is not the correct way. You should have drawn only this one. I hope you can understand this. Right. So all villages are towns is not correct. No village is a town. Here we have some villages as town, isn't it? Yes. So that is also not correct. When you come to the third statement, some villages are towns. Yes. There are some region common to cities and villages, which means that since all cities are town, then some towns or villages, some villages are towns. This is true. So the third state, the third conclusion following the statement, whereas the first two does not follow the statement. So only three follows is the answer. Very good. Many of you have found the correct answers. Okay, I give you next question. All vegetables are fruits. Some sweets are fruits. Right. These are the given statements. Now you need to find which are the conclusions following the statements. Okay. Okay. Very good. Many of you have found the correct answer. Great. Right. Okay. Now I explain this. See, all vegetables are fruits. So we know that within fruits we will have all V, isn't it? So then the second one is some sweets are fruits. Right. So we would have drawn like this. All vegetables are fruits. So within this fruits, we will have draw this vegetables. Now, some fruits or sweets. Yes. So some fruits or sweets. I would have drawn only this way, not like this. Right. See, in case if you draw like this, right. Here that will also imply some vegetables or sweets. So this should not be drawn like that. Now this only should be drawn. Right. 
Now, if you under, if you follow the conclusion, take the conclusions, all vegetable source is right. All vegetable source fruits is correct, but sweets is not correct. So the first one is wrong, right? So the first one is wrong. So that is why I have placed it wrong here, right? When you take the second statement, all sweets are vegetables, right? All sweets are vegetables is also not correct. So here, this is not correct one. Now, when you come to the third statement, conclusions, some fruits are sweets. Yes. So some sweets are fruits, which means that some fruits are sweets is also correct. So the third one follows the condition, conclusion uh, statements. So only three follow. That is the correct answer. So I will go with option B. That's it. Very good. Now answer this. Some ants are parrots. All the parrots are apples. The conclusions are all the apples are parrots. Then some ants are apples. Good. Good. Very good. Everyone have found the correct answer. Except one. Very good. Right. See, some ants are parrots. All the parrots are apples. So, within apple, we will have parrot. Then, there will be some common region for ants and parrots. That is how we need to draw the diagram. Very good. Right. So, I will have drawn like this. So, within apple, I will have parrot. Then, there will be a common region for parrot and ant. Right. As I told you earlier, you should not draw this ant like this. Right. Will you draw like this? If you draw, if you have ant here, right. Then also some ants are parrots, right? Yes or no? But in case if you draw like this, that implies all ants are apples also, right? So you should not draw like this. In case if it is given the like parrot or some parrots or ants, you should have drawn only like this. I hope you can understand this. The first conclusion, only one follow. All the apples are parrots, right? So if you check this one, all the apples are parrots. No, all the parrots of apple is correct, but all the apples are parrot is not definitely correct. So the first one is not the correct one. So I remove this option, right? When you go to second conclusion, some ants or apples, isn't it? Yes, so some ants or apples. So when you look at this, yes, some ants or apples because all the parrots are within the apple, right? So in case if some apples or some parrots or ants, then some apples or ants is also correct, right? So the second one is correct. The first one is not correct. So only two follows. Option B is the correct answer. I hope you can understand this. Very good. Actually, many of you are finding the correct answers in the first attempt itself. Great. Now, I have given you another question. Try to solve it. Right. I want to tell you the weightage of this one. Right. If you go for competitive exams, it can be of any company, you will have at least one question from syllogism, right? In case if you are going, going for banking exams, 
minimum five questions will be there from the syllogism. Right. So this topic is very important in case of any competitive exams. So you are really, you are really performing well. Good. Find answer to this. Okay. Good. Good. Very good. Okay. Now, okay, I explain this. See, all the papers are books. Right. That is the first statement. Then all the backs are books. That is the second statement. Then third one is some persons are backs. Right. So, very good. Many of you have answered it correctly. Great. Right. So, based on this, I need to draw the diagram. So, all papers are books. I will draw like this. Right. So, all papers are books. So, I will draw like this. Then, second one. All boats are submarines, right? So all boats are sorry. Okay, all the papers are books. All the backs are books, right? So all the backs are books. I will draw this one. Now, when you check the second and third one, some purses are backs, right? Some purses are backs. So that is a common region between purse and the backs. Yes, it is there. Right. So, yes. So, I would have drawn like this. Now, which are the conclusions following this? Some papers are back. Is it given like that? No. So, so far in the given, as per the given information, paper and backs does not have any connections. So, the first one is not necessarily correct. Right. Second one, some books are papers. Yes, I told you, in case if one within another, some relation to any entity to any other entity is true always. Right. So the second condition is, the second conclusion is true. Then third one, some books are purses. Yes, some books are purses is also correct. Right. So here, Okay. Listen. Good. See, actually here, some parts of that was giving. Okay. Here, actually, I have drawn, I should have drawn this like this. Very good. Right. Some backs or purses, which means that I should have drawn like this, because here, which also implies all purses are books. Right. It is not given in any of the statements. So the small changes that first should be the result of this one. Good. Very good. Hope you understand this. Very good. Very good. Very good. Yeah, I should have drawn just out of this uh, out of this Venn diagram, right? So this is the correct one, right? Now you can understand this, right? Yes. So only two and three follows the statements. That's it, right? 
So far, any doubts? I hope you do not have any doubts. Right. Okay. The next one. Some ships are boats. All boats are submarine. Some submarines are yachts. Right. Now, for the given three statements, you draw the diagram. Then, followed by we have four conclusions. You find which of the conclusions are following the statement. I hope you are trying this. Good. Good. Very good. Yes. Okay. Very good. Many of you have answered correctly, but some of you have made some mistakes. Right. I will tell you this how. See, some ships are some ships are boats, some boats are submarines, some submarines are yachts. So here some to any entity is any to any entity, right? That will be drawn like this. Right. See, some boats are some ships are boats. If you take ships here then boats will be here, right? Now, if you come to the next one, all boats are submarine. So now all boats are submarine. I have drawn this one, right? Then next one is some submarines are yachts. Now I would have drawn like this. Some submarines are yachts. Very good, right? Now, if you come to the conclusions, the first one, some yachts are boats, right? Some yachts are boats. No. As per the given statement, some yes, yachts are boats is not following the sta uh, statements. Right. So the first conclusion is not definitely true. Right. When you come to the second one, some submarines are boats. Right. So some submarines are boats is correct. Since all boats are submarine, some boats are submarine is also true. So the second conclusion following the statement. When you come to the next third one, some submarines are ships, right? Some submarines are ships. So if you look at this, some submarines, some submarines are ships. Yes, that is also correct here, right? When you come to the fourth one, some yachts are ships. Right. So here, some yachts or submarine is correct, but some yachts or ships is not definitely correct. So the first one and the fourth one are definitely not correct, and the second one and third one are definitely correct. So what will be your answer here? That is option B. Two and three follow the statement. I hope you can understand this.
वेरी गुड नाउ आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन सम क्वेश्चन आर आंसर्स सम आंसर्स आर राइटर्स all the writers are poets conclusions some writers are answers some poets are questions all the questions are poets some poets are answers now you find which conclusions are following the statements Very good. Two of you have found the correct answer. Good, good. Very good. Very good. Great. Many of you have found the actually. I think our maximum have found the correct answers. Good. Right now, some questions are answers. Very good. Some questions are answers. Some answers are writers. All the writers are poets. Right. So you would have drawn like this. See, some questions are answers. So some questions are answers. I would have drawn this one. Right. Now. some answers are writers so i will draw like this they all the writers are poets i will draw like this i hope you understand this now after this i will go to conclusion now some writers are answers right when you the, check the first one some writers are answers yes right some writers are answers is correct there is a common region between writers and answers so that is correct right so the first one is correct if you come to the second one some poets are questions right some poets are questions now it is not the correct one because poets and questions have no common region so some relation does not exist here right so that is not definitely true when you come to the third one all the questions are poets right all the questions are poets no that is not also correct so the third conclusion is also not correct right when you come to the fourth one some poets are answers some poets are answers so now some poets are answers yes some relation exist so the fourth one is correct right so one and four only following the statements so one and four only follows that is the correct answer right many of you have found the correct answers great now find answer to this question some pears or gems some gems or our minds okay good okay okay let's verify your answers 
Okay. Some pairs are gyms, some gyms are on mains. Right. So you would have drawn like this. Isn't it? Some pairs are gyms, some gyms are on mains. So you would have drawn like this. Isn't it? Yes. Now you can see the conclusions. Some gyms are peers. If you come to this one, some gyms are peers. Yes, there's a common region between peers and uh, gyms. So that is the correct answer. So the first one is definitely correct. When you come to the second one, some ornaments of gyms. Yes, there is a common region between ornament and gyms. So the second statement two also following the so conclusion two also following the statements. So the second one is also correct. Now both one and two follows is the correct answer. I hope you can understand this. Very good. Many of you have found the correct answers. Great. Now answer this. Some yen, some envelopes or gums, some gums or seals, some seals or adhesives. Right. First conclusion, some envelopes or seals. Second conclusion, some gums or adhesives. Third conclusion, some adhesives or seals. The fourth one, some adhesives or Gums. Very good. Good. Right. Right. If you answer the questions with this accuracy in the competitive exams, then you can score a five out of five in syllogism only. Right. Great. Okay. The first statement, some envelopes are gums, some gums are seals, some seals are adhesives. If you compare with the previous one, right, that is similar to this one, isn't it? So you could have drawn the same diagram as in the previous one, right? Some envelopes are gums, some gums are seals, some seals are adhesives. So you would have drawn diagram like this, right? Now, if you come to the conclusions, some envelopes are seals, right? So, some envelopes are seals. So, seals are here and envelope is here. We, th these two have no relation so far. So, this one is not definitely correct, right? When you come to the second one, some gums are adhesives, right? Some gums are adhesives. That is also not correct. As per the given statement, right. When you come to the third statement, the third one, some adhesives or seals. Yes, there is a common region between seals and adhesives. So that is correct one, right. Fourth one, some adhesives or gums, right. So some adhesives or gums. So gums are here and adhesives are here. Right. So there is no common region between gums and adhesives. So the fourth one is also not correct. So what is the correct answer? Only three follows is the correct answer. I hope you can understand this. Good. Many of you have found the correct answer. Now, I have given you an extra screen. 
you can practice now. Some rivers are jungles, some jungles are horses, some horses are tents, some tents are buildings. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. Very good. Okay. Except one. Others have answered it correctly. Okay, listen. Some rivers are jungles. Right. Some rivers are jungles. Good. Good. Some jungles are houses. Some houses are tents. Some tents are buildings. So, when you compare with the previous problem, the same diagram you could have drawn here for this also. Yes or no? Yes. So here R means, J, uh, J means jungles. Sorry. J means jungles. Then horses, touch, tents, T, rivers, R, then buildings, B. Right. Yes. So, good. Now, when you look at the conclusions, Some buildings are horses, right? But you look at this, horses are here, buildings are here. So there is no common region between horses and buildings. So the first one is not the correct answer, right? When you check the second conclusion, some tents are jungles. So tents are here, jungles are here. So some relation is not true, definitely true in jungles and Things, isn't it? When you come to the third one, some houses or rivers, right? Some houses or rivers, rivers are here, houses are here, right? Then there is no common region between these two. So the third condition does not follow the statement. When you come to the fourth conclusion, some things are rivers. So rivers are here, things are here. Then there is no common region between these two. Then this conclusion does not follow the statement. So we have eliminated all the four, four conclusions, isn't it? Now, none of the conclusions follows the statement is the correct answer. Many of you have answered it correctly. Good. Find the answer to this. Okay, good. 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 Very good. Very good. Yes, all of you have found the correct answers. Very good.
Okay. Now, the first one. Some marbles are paints. Some paints are dogs. Some dogs are doors. Right. Now, if you see the conclusions, some doors are paints. Some dogs are marbles. Some marbles are doors. Right. See, in the given statement, all are some relations. In the given conclusions, all are having some relations, isn't it? Then here itself, we could have answered the question. Right. Some doors are paints. So doors are here. It is not connected to paint, isn't it? So no where door is there. So the first one is not correct. Right. The second one, some dogs are marbles. Dogs are related to pen and doors only, not with the marbles. So the second one is also not correct. First one is not following. Second one is not following. Then the, when you come to the third one, some marbles are doors. So marbles are related with only pens, not with the doors. So the third conclusion also not following the statement. So what is the answer? None follows is the correct answer. I hope you can understand this easily. Very good. Everyone have found the correct answer? Now I show you the next question. Right. Just a minute. Yes. Statements. No beach is island. All islands are reefs. Right. Answer this question. Good. 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 Okay. Right. Now I explain this. No beach is an island. Right. All islands are reefs. So you will draw you will draw all islands or reefs. So within reefs, you will draw this island and no beach is island, right? So you would have drawn this one, right? All islands are reef and no islands are beach. So here, this has no connections here, right? Now if you come to the next one, conclusions. All beaches are reefs, right? But you look at this. No, that is not the correct one. Second one, no beach is a reef, right? No beach is a reef. Now we cannot say anything here, right? So that is also not correct, definitely correct. When you come to the third one, some reefs are island, right? Some reefs are island. If you come to this one, yes, 
right island is here reefs are here so in all island or reefs then some reefs are island is also correct right when you come to the fourth, the fourth one all reefs are island that is not the true one right see here we would have identified only three follows if we check the answer good if you check the answer you could have not seen only three follows only one follow is follow is there right only two follow is there either one or two follow is there only three and four follow is there right then neither one nor two nor four follows right so what is the meaning here instead of giving only three follows second conclusion okay no beach is a reef right see here no beach is island is true but we do not know whether it has some definite it is definitely correct or not see here one possibility is the reefs and beach can have something common right another possibility is reefs and beach does not have any connect, common region so in this case you cannot definitely say it is correct or not isn't it so definitely correct only follows i hope you can understand this so option neither one two not four follows is the correct answer now you could have understood that instead of giving only three follows they could have given you neither one two nor four follows right so this is the correct answer so far is that clear very good now answer this how some beach is a reef see or oh, just a minute i explain this see no beach is island right what means that island and beach does not have any common region right here all island or reefs right all island or reefs yes all island or reef that is correct right listen in this case this is not the correct answer diagram right actually here the diagram can be correct in two places one is like this that is the reefs and beach can have some common region another one is beach and re uh, beach and reefs will not have any common region right see here the clear definitely true is this one island all island is reef is the definitely correct right now either you could have drawn like this or like this that will not make any difference in this right so i have drawn only one possibility you can have another possibility also right i hope you can understand this so see here some part of reef is island sorry reef is beach that is not true in this case right so this beach and reef does not have any relation so far so either it can have or cannot have right now i have drawn only this one in case if it is drawn like this that is the island is not having any common relation with the, this beach then at the time you could have asked me sir here it also implies some pre, some no reefs is also beaches you how is it correct sir right so understand this here either this or this can be possibility right so here it doesn't mean that reef and beach are co having common region i hope you can understand this good now you can answer this question
all shares are debentures. No debenture is an equity, right? No equity is a share. Some debentures are shares. No share is an equity. Very good. Very good. Many of you have found the answer correctly. Good. No. Very good. Okay, let us discuss this, right? See, all shoes, all shares are debentures, right? So if you look at this, you could have drawn like this. Okay, I will explain one by one. All shares are debentures. So within debentures, you, you can have all the shares. So you will have this one. Right. So all shares are debentures. So you would have drawn this one, isn't it? Now, no debenture is an equity. Now, this debenture does not have any common region with uh, this equity. Right. Yes. Now, if you go, if you go to conclusions, no equity is a, is a share. Right. Yes. See here. I know that no debenture is an equity, isn't it? Now, if you see this share that is completely within this debenture, so no share is an equity or no equity is an share is definitely correct. I hope you can understand this. Right. Then the second conclusion. Some debentures are shares. Right. Some debentures or shares. Yes. So some relation between sh uh, shares and debentures or yes. True. Definitely true. Because one is with, within another. Right. So some relation is true here. But you go to the third one. No share is an equity. Yes. No equity is an share. As well as the no share is an equity. That is also correct. So in this case, you can have all the three conclusions are following the statement. I hope you can understand this. Some of you have answered some other answers. Now you can understand this, right? You can post yes or no, then we can go to next one. Yes. Good. Right. In case if you want me to repeat anything, you can post here to repeat. I repeat again. Now, next one. All bags are tables. No table is red. Right. The conclusions. Some bags are red. All bags are red. Which of the conclusions following the statement? Find answer to this. Okay. Very good. Very good. Very good. Actually, all of you have answered it correctly. Great. Right. Great. Now, I explain this. All bags are tables, right? So, all the bags will be within the table, 
right i will draw right right then no table is red right since no table is red red and table does not have any common common region that is that we should not have any connections here right when you look at this some bags are red right so since table and red does not have any relation then with the bags or within this table that will also not have anything so the first conclusion does not follow the statement right when you look at the second one all bags are red right so all bags or table is red but all bags are red is not correct right in case if some relation is fa false then all will also be false isn't it yes so neither one not to follows is the correct answer so option d is the correct answer right i hope maximum of you have answered it correctly right in case if anyone have answered other answers now you can understand this yes sir no very good yes try to answer this question good all books are pens no book is a pencil right some pencils are pens no pen is a pencil very good okay half of you are answering one and half of you are answering the second one right let's check your answers see here all books are pens right all books are pens no book is a pencil right if we compare if you draw the diagram you will have you would have drawn like this all books are pens and some pens are pencils you would have drawn like this see here actually here no book is a pencil now you all now also you will have the same doubt no book is a pencil actually that is what given sir now why did you draw this one right some pens are pe pencils are also given here it is wrong right yes in case if you draw out of this diagram also if you draw the pencils here right if you draw the pencils here that is also not correct why because if you draw like this here which also implies no pens are also pencils right that is also not in the given statement right so in case if you have questions of this type you concentrate on this area so that you will have made mistakes here right now first one if you look at the first conclusion some pencils or pens right yes or no if you look at this some pencils are pens right that is not definitely correct right the second one is no pen is a pencil right here no pen is a pencil if you look at this that is also not exactly correct right listen all of you sure when will you go for this either or i repeat once again right now there are two possibilities one is 
pen and the pencils may have some we common region that is relation. They may they may not have relation. Right. These are the two possibilities. Right. See, individually both the statements are not correct. Yes or no? Yes. Individually, if you look at the Just a minute. Hope the screen is visible to you. Okay. Now, if you look at this, individually both statements are not correct. Right. Then you would have answered it is none of this is correct, right? So you would have thought neither one nor two follows, isn't it? But if you look at this, some pens are pens, some pencils are pens, right? We look at this, some pencils are pens. I don't know it is whether it is correct or not. Exact, definitely. No pen is a pencil. I don't know this is also definitely correct or not. But these two are complement to each other, right? Here, the first statement given the, gives that there are some common region between pen and pencil. Here, the second statement uh, conclusion given gives that there is no common region between pen and pencil. Right. Individually, they are not correct, but one of this must be correct. Am I correct or not? Yes or no? I hope you can understand this. Shall I repeat? You can post yes or no. Am I audible? Am I audible? Your voice is uh, somewhat uh, little audible. It's not clear, Illumalai. Uh, and your screen also not visible. Okay, I just connect, re reconnect this again.
Am I audible now? Is this screen visible to you? You are audible, but uh, your screen, yes, now it is visible. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Right. Listen of you. Here, some paints or pencils, no paints or pencils. Right. Individually, they are not correct. Right. But either one of this must be correct. Am I correct or not? So, this is complementary of this statement. So, either this is true, this is true. Right. So, here you could have answered the question as either or. Right. Do you think why do I to answer this as either or? I'll give you another clue also. In case, some relation to between two entities and no relation between those two entities is existing. Then you search for option either, either or. Right. Make sure that individually they should not be definitely correct. Right. Individually they should not be definitely correct. And there some relation must be uh, between these two and no relation between these two must be in two different conclusions. At that time, you will go for either or. Hope you understand this. And this is the first question like this we are discussing. Next question, Sadal, you will answer this. Right. Hope you understand this. You can post yes or no. In case if you want me to repeat this, I am ready to repeat. What happened? None of you are uh, responding. Am I audible? Am I audible? Yes, you are audible. Okay. No one is responding. That's why I had it. Okay. I'll show you the next question. Yes, you can answer the question. Some crows or jackals, no foxes of crow. Some jackals or foxes. Some jackals are not foxes. 
What is the answer to this question? I have asked a question. Am I audible? But you are not responding. Here I have shown you a question. You have not posted the answers to. Yes, Good. Right. Now answer this. So here, some crows are jackals. Right. Some crows are okay. Right. I received the messages right now. Okay. Some crows are jackals. So we would have drawn like this. Some crows are jackals. Then no fox is a crow. Right. So no fox is a crow. Right. So at the time. Right. Then the second one must be no jacks or foxes must be correct. Right. So here some relation is there. But no relation is not there. Some jackals are not foxes. Which means that which can also imply some jackals or foxes also, right? So in this case, you cannot go for either or. Hope you understand this. Good. Now I go to the next question. You try to answer this. No P is X. All X are Y, some X are Z. Sorry, some Y are Z. Then, just a minute. Yes, answer this. No P is Z, no Y is X, at least some Z or P. Right. See, at least some Z or P is same as some Z or P. Right. Okay. Next.
ओके ओके प्राइम ओके so if you look at the conclusions no p is z right so if you compare this one no p is z right so p is here z is here so somewhere it is having possibility somewhere it is not having possibility so definitely it is not correct isn't it so one is not the correct statement right if you look at the second one no y is x right so if you look at this so there are some region which is common to x and y so no some x or y is correct but no y is x is not correct right when you come to the third one at least some is it or p right at least some is it or p so here is it or some is it or p if you look at this in this case z and p have something common in this case z and p does not have anything common so there are two possibilities right so when you look at this right individually none of this actually for following isn't it yes if you look at this this is also not correct actually right sorry this is also not correct actually right so here none of this is following if you have that option you don't go with that right because no entity is there in case if no entity is there for no relation between two entities are there there are possibilities of either or cases right no p is z then you can search for some p is z or not right so here no x is y here some x is z or p so here if you compare this this is not individually true right the third one is also not individually true but any here one is complement of another one then any one of this must be true so either one or three is correct answer right i repeat once again see here if i check individually all the three statements are individually not correct yes or no definitely it is not correct individually then listen all of you i repeat once again in case if you have no relation in the conclusion then there is a possibility of either or cases right if you have if you want to have either or cases then one conclusion should give there is no relation between two entities and one conclusion should give there is some common region uh, correlation between two uh, those same entities right so when you look at this no p is z that is not exactly true no y is x that is not exactly true at least some is it or p right so if you look at this no p is z some is it or p so these two how exactly these two are exactly complement to each other isn't it now if you look at this either or case will work so either one or three follows is the correct answer so option b is the correct answer hope you understand this someone asked me to repeat this right now do you understand this good very good now i give you another question you try to solve this all roads are buses all buses are cars no bus is a speed 
train then no speed is a car at least some cars are roads right now answer this question Good. Shall I answer this? Okay. Okay, good. I explain this. See, all roads or buses Right. Just a minute. Actually, here third conclusion is not there. Right. In option, they have given you third conclusion is also following. Right. You have no need of going to answer you mean you just eliminate this option right this is not the correct answer by seeing yourself you could have answered right okay now all roads are buses so all roads are buses now if you look at this all buses are cars so all buses are cars yes i have drawn that then all sorry no buses are speed right see Bus and the speed should not have anything common region, right? You can see here, bus and the speed does not have anything common here, isn't it? Yes. So if you look at this conclusions, no speed is a car, right? No speed is a car. So car is here, right? Speed is here. Here, this may be here or this may be, the speed may be here, right? So we cannot say anything definitely here. So the first one is not definitely correct, right? If you look at the second statement, at least some cars are road, right? So at least some cars are roads. So if you look at this, some cars are roads, yes. So if you have the circles one, one, one in another circle, then some relation is always true. I told you already, right? Based on that, only two follows is the correct answer here. I hope you can understand this. So, option B is the correct answer. Right. Many of you have answered option B as the correct answer. Right. Good. Now, this question. Solve this. Some rabbits are deer. No deer is a line. All elephants are lines. Conclusions. No rabbit is a line. No elephant is a deer. Some elephants or rabbits. Right. Now, you tell me which conclusions are following the statements. Okay.
for the answer only one have answered so far okay okay right i can explain this see some rabbits are deer right so some rabbits are deer no deer is a lion all elephants are lions right in case if you draw this diagram okay right you would have drawn like this some rabbits are deer so some rabbits are deer you would have drawn this one isn't it then no deer is a lion right so here deer and lion should not have anything common region so that is mentioned here right we should look at the third one all elephants are lions right so within this line you can draw this elephant yes now if you look at this no rabbit is a lion right no rabbit is a lion right so rabbit and lion has something common region yes or no yes so here the first one is not definitely correct when you look at the second one no elephant is deer right so see here when no elephant is deer right sorry no lion is deer within lion we have elephant right so no elephant is deer is also correct so to follow the conclusion conclusion to follow the statement then third one some elephants are rabbits right so some elephants are rabbits if you look at this some rabbits are deer is given yes then some all elephants are lions given yes right so so here rabbits and elephants right so rabbits and elephants does it have any relation no so here rabbits are here elephant is here right so rabbits and elephants have nothing common here so in that case third one is also not correct here i have made a mistake here right so only conclusion to follow is the correct answer right so option b is the correct answer i hope you can understand this very good now i show you the other question right now you can answer this question no apple is mango all mangoes are fruits all fruits are vegetarian the conclusions no fruit is apple no vegetarian is apple some vegetarian or mango some answer this good 
good so here no apple is a mango right many of you have answered correctly right so no apple is a mango all mangoes are fruits all fruits are vegetarians right you would have drawn this right no mango is an apple so apple and mango does not have anything common here right then all mangoes are fruits or uh, then all fruits are vegetarian so you would have drawn like this now you may have a doubt sir here only we have relation between these two right we they have clearly mentioned that mango and apple does not have any relation it is not given that apple and fruits vegetarians are having relations as i explained you already either you can draw here or you can draw here. So in this case, you may you may need this uh, possibility diagram, right? Right. So now if you look at the no fruit is our. Next. Hope the screen is visible to you. Yes. Okay. Now you can see this, right? Yes, good. Right. Then, then some vegetarians are mangoes. Right. Some vegetarians are mangoes is correct. That... The third, some vegetarians. Are... So, 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 this is. Okay. Something in, uh, you cannot conclude this definitely. Right. So you can answer only three thoughts. Right. And if you look at this, no fruit is given. So if you search for no, some fruits or apple here, no, it is not like no, not there. So you cannot answer either of cases. But here, if you look at the second one. No vegetarian is always given here. Some right. Good. So if you look, either this or this can happen, right? So either two or four is one of one correct answer, and the third one is also correct. And three was the question, right? Now can you understand this question? So far you discussed either or only now. With the either or, we have some other conditions, conclusions following the statements. 
I hope you can understand this. Good. Then next question. You can answer this question. All pits are tall. All tall is a matrix. No pit is bottom. What is the answer to this? Okay, I carry once again. Just a minute. Now hope it is visible to you. Is this visible now? So what is the answer to this question? The screen is not visible. So I have shared you. Now is it visible to you? Is my screen visible to you? Am I audible? Is it visible now? Wait a minute, I reconnect it again.
Okay. Is my screen visible to you now? Good. Answer to this question. What is the answer to this? Okay. Right. So all bit tolls, all tall is matrix, no bit is bottle. Right. So if you draw the diagram, all bits are tall, all tall are matrix. So with one within another, you will draw like this. And no bit is bottle. Right. So no pitters bottle like this you would have drawn. Right. There will be no connection between these two. Right. Now, if you kind of if you go for this conclusions, right. You can see no matrix is a bottle. I don't know whether bottle is here or here, like this. So I don't know exactly this is correct or not. Right. When you look at the second statement, some matrix are bottle. Right. So here it can have like this, right? So individually one and two are not correct, but either one and two must be correct, isn't it? Because these two are exactly complement to each other. So no matrix is a battle, bottle, they, no matrix, uh, some matrix are, are bottle. So individually they are not correct, but one of them must be correct. So you will go for the option either one or two follow the statement. Very good. Hope you understand this. Listen, actually some of you are thinking that neither one not to follows, right? Remember, when you have no with two entities, then you search for some with same, some relation with the two entities, same two entities. You put a they, then some relation is true. Good. Right. Now answer this question. All trees of shrubs, no shrub is sampling. All saplings are grass, right? The conclusion is no tree is grass, some saplings are trees. Seeing itself, you put a very bad option, either or, because tree grass, sapling trees, right? So here two entities are different in no and some cases. So obviously C will not be the answer, right? Now you find the answer to this question. Only one follows. Okay. Shall we check your answer? All trees are shrubs. Okay. Now we'll discuss this. See, all trees are shrubs, you would have drawn like this. Then no shrub is sample a sapling, you would have drawn like this. And all saplings are grass, you would have drawn like this. Right. See, now all saplings are grass. If it is, then this is another possibility, right? That is what you could have seen, right? When you have no relations, you go to possible diagrams also, right? Now, if you look at this, no tree is a grass, right? So tree, grass. Here, I do not know this is exactly true or not. So I will neglect this. Some saplings are trees, right? Some saplings are trees. 
So here is also not correct. So neither one nor two follows the statement. That is the correct answer. I hope you can understand this. Right. You can answer this question. All songs are voices, some musics are songs. No. Good. Let's check your answer. Right. So here, all songs are voices, then some musics are songs. Yes. No. Lyric is music. So no lyric is music. Music and a Lyrics does not have anything common region, right? Now, if you look at the conclusions, you can identify, you can find the answer, right? Good. So, the first conclusion, some lyrics are music, right? So, some lyrics are music. That is not the correct one. When you go to the second conclusion, some voices are music. Some voices are music. Right. Yes, that is correct. Isn't it? Now the third one, some songs are music. Some songs are music is also correct. So only two one follows. The first conclusion does not follow. Right. That's it. Thank you all. I have shared the material. You can download the chat. Thank you all. Yeah. Thank you, Elumalai. Thank you, Chandra. Okay, guys, I'm sharing the attendance link. Please mark your attendance. And tomorrow I'm going to conduct a quiz. Okay. And one more thing. Um, do you have any queries regarding classes, exams and all? So I'm sharing registration link as well. 